Welcome, Dr. Dynamite here. Today I will present 10 creepy creatures living on your body. Bed bugs. These are small insects and as the name suggests, they are living with you in bed. They can hide in furniture cracks, pillows, bed sheets, clothes, and they are the reason you feel itches during the night. They can spread diseases as well as they feed on your blood. Their bite does not hurt, but they can cause irritation, sleep loss and distress in people. They can be found in poorly maintained households, hotels, motels, prisons and other places which can allow them to exist, however they can live also in luxury hotels rooms already infested. They are active during the night and hide at daytime, but they cannot travel too far to feed, so once an object is infested you can simply remove it and the problem is solved. You should check your bed next time you sleep in a hotel as you do not want these guys joining you back home in your bags and clothes. The dental plaque or the dental streptococcus. If you do not brush your teeth regularly, your teeth will get covered with plaque, which is a bacteria biofilm 3 to 500 cells deep, filled with microorganisms who love the sugar and they produce gluey materials which are basically excrements which are building up the tartar, allowing the caries to evolve and causing gingivitis or other mouth diseases. There are over 20,000 types of bacteria, and they live in harmony together with a common goal to make your teeth brown. The common flea. This is a small insect which makes you itch during the night and it is responsible to carry diseases transferable to humans through their bites. They feed on human blood and they have tube-like mouth parts designed to penetrate your skin. Their legs are long and they are adapted to jumping over 30 centimeters, making the flea one of the best jumpers in the world compared to its body size. It is like a human jumping 90 meters in one single jump as a comparison term. Their body resists enormous pressure, so squeezing them will not do the job, however, rolling them back and forth few times will crush their legs and will result in their death. They can live up to few months and perhaps a year in ideal conditions and they lay over 5000 eggs in, the, in their lifetime, making them a hard to stop reproductive pest. Head lice. There are plenty of people in this world who have them in their hair and they can cause a very itchy scalp. These tiny insects are spread through head-to-head -head contact and they live and lay eggs on your hair. A few times a day they eat your blood using a strong tube called a stylet. They cannot survive more than a day away from you and they have been with us for a long time. Scientists have found eggs on hair over 10,000 years old. You can get rid of them in many ways, there are hundreds of products to use, but a complete shave will probably do the job. Body lice. This is a small insect that can infest your skin and feed on your blood as well. It is a relative to the head lice and evolved into a different species moving on the lower part of the body due to the fact people started to wear clothes many thousands of years ago. They are the size of a sesame seed, just a couple of millimeters and they have six legs. They go from one person to another by direct contact and they are a sign of poor hygiene. Body lice can crawl and they cannot jump or hump and you can get rid of them easily by taking regular showers and get clean clothes. Crabs or pubic lice. Another type of human lice but this time living in your underwear. They can cause redness, itching in the groin pubic area. It is not only embarrassing to have them but also uncomfortable. They spread through sexual contact and they are big enough to be seen with the naked eye. They cannot jump and they can take over other hairy areas of the body. They feed on blood like any other lices and they can be removed by a simple shave. House dust mites. These little insects are found in every home with not many exceptions. You can find these creamy eight-legged creatures on your bed, on your pillow, couches and carpets. They are invisible to the naked eye but they are there, I can assure you. They feed on dead skin flakes and dander. Also, they are the cause of asthma and allergic sneezes and they can also create bigger health problems. They are responsible for 80% of the dust in your house as they produce 100 fecal pellets per day which are 200 times more than their own weight and we can call them serious pooping machines. Face mites. Studies have shown that 100% of people have tiny creatures growing on their hair follicles. They are called demodex and they are feeding on the oils produced by the skin. 
The face might have 8 legs, they are related to spiders and they look like an ice cream cone with stubby legs at one end. They came onto your face to breathe during the night and they return to hair follicles or in your eyelashes to lay up to 25 eggs. The face mites are genetically suited to the host, so it is likely to have different mites if you are from Africa, Europe or from Asia, but differences are only at DNA level. Remember, you have these mites on your hair right now. Scabies mites. These creatures are infesting your skin, causing itching and generate rashes, rather unpleasant. These microscopic bites burrow in the skin and you can get them by touch from someone else who already has them. Sexual contact is the easiest form of transmission. These scabies cannot survive away from your skin more than 48 to 72 hours, but once on the skin they can live up to 2 months. Your pets have different types of scabies, but they do not mix, so it is safe to touch your dog or a cat. You can recognize if you have scabies, if you have smell red pimples like bumps on your skin and you feel some itching. The human bot fly. This is actually a parasite found in various parts of the world such as Central and South America and it found its way in our countdown due to the horrific nature. It is a fly which lay its eggs inside the mosquito who will carry them and deliver them into the human body through the bite. The larva feeds on the human tissue for a month or two. From this larva there is an insect coming out and it is pretty scary to know it comes out of you. A scenario straight from a horror movie. The easiest way to kill and remove the maggot is to apply nail polish and remove it by surgery. Squeezing them inside your skin is dangerous, it will cause infection. There are many shocking cases of tourists visiting the Belize or Bolivia, getting infected and realizing what apparently were mosquito bites, they are actually creatures moving inside their skin, leading to terrific and disgusting feelings. What could have been a great Amazon holiday turned into a nightmare for an Australian couple, Ali and Brian, who were left stranded in Bolivia after getting infected with the skin creepy maggots, spending days pulling many worms like larva from their wounds on the stomach, backs and legs, making them puke many times and live horrific painful experiences. This is the end of our countdown, if you thought you lived alone, you better think again. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching, Dr. Dynamite, over.